In recent weeks, I was learning about rate limiting. There are a ton of videos and resources about the explanation of rate limiting and its algorithm, but very few actually show the implementation of the algorithm. So in this video, I want to share my learnings on the token bucket rate limiting algorithm. If you are new to the rate limiting concept, please explore the vast resources available on the internet. Before we jump into code itself, let's talk about how the algorithm actually works. So the token bucket algorithm allows the server to process requests at a controlled rate. Here is how it works. So we have a token bucket and this token bucket holds a fixed number of tokens and each token represents permission to make a request. Tokens are added to the bucket at a constant rate. When a client wants to make a request, it needs to take a token from the bucket. If there are no tokens available, the client has to wait until a token becomes available. Once a request is made, a token is consumed from the bucket and the server processes the request. Now let's have a look how the algorithm is implemented. For each user, we store the last request Unix timestamp and available token count. Most commonly, we use Redis for storage due to its speed of operation. Let's take an example where we refill the bucket with one token every minute. Now let's assume that user 1 has two tokens left and last request was at 10 a.m. as indicated by the timestamp. User 1 again makes a request at 10 hours, 0 minutes and 7 seconds. Now our rate limiter would have to do a number of things to track the user's usage. First, it fetches the hash from storage. Second, it refills the available tokens based on our chosen refill rate and the time of the user's last request. In this case, we don't refill the token since we refill token every minute and second request arrived before the passing of a minute. Then it checks if the user has enough tokens to make the request. In this case, the user has enough tokens, that is two tokens. Removes one token from the bucket and lets the request go. Finally, it would update the hack with the current request timestamp and the new available token count. Now, user one again makes a request at 10 hours, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. This time the rate limiter checks that more than a minute has passed since the last request so it refills the bucket with two tokens and now we have three tokens, removes one token from the bucket and let the request go through and updates the hash. For the next request at 10.02.24 24 we remove a token allow the request and update the hash. Same for the request at 10.02.36. We remove a token, allow the request and update the hash. Notice that our tokens have become zero and now the interesting part actually happens. Now let's hit that request where the magic actually happens. The request comes in at 10.02.36. 36. We have zero tokens left and we can't refill the bucket since we have made like four requests already in the 10 hours and two minute mark. So we reject the request and now update the hash for the latest timestamp. So this was the journey of request response from user one using the token bucket algorithm. So now let's look at some code. Let's define the token bucket class first and all the methods that we will be writing in it. So we have refill bucket, create bucket, handle request methods. And now let's define the constructor. Here the capacity is the maximum amount of tokens our bucket can hold. Refill time is the amount of time between refills. Refill amount is the number of tokens to be added per refill cycle. And finally the DB. In this example, I'm taking simple object because of simplicity, but we can use Redis or any other type of storage to our liking. Let's implement the create bucket function now if the key is not defined in the db we just add the key in the db with tokens as the maximum capacity and timestamp as the current time and we just return the current key moving on to the refill bucket method if we don't have the key we simply return null we get the number of tokens and the timestamp from the bucket get the current time calculate the elapsed time and then calculate the new tokens and then update the new tokens along with the current timestamp into the bucket and finally return the bucket moving on to handle request method we first get the bucket as well as the current time then we get the time that has been elapsed since the last request if the elapsed time is greater than or equal to one minute we just refill the bucket else we just check if the count of tokens in the bucket is less than or equal to zero we just print a method on the console and just return false here you can see i'm using chalk.red which is a library to print output in different colors now if we can't find the bucket we just print out a message bucket not found and return false if we found the bucket we just print the message that request is accepted along with the tokens count and the current date and we remove the token from the bucket and then return true. So this was all the code for our token bucket class and now let's just test it out. So this is our mini index.js file and I've created a bucket of 
capacity four, which adds four token after every five seconds. And I'm making a request for the user one, passing the key as user one. And you'll see what this output does. Let's look at the output now. Let's run the file and wait for the output. Amazing. So our test was successful. Here you can see our first request comes at 10.13.08 and our bucket is initialized with four tokens. So the request goes through and so on. All the three requests goes through after that. And as soon as our tokens are zero, we see our request is rejected for 10.13.08. Similarly for 10.13.11 and our tokens will get refilled after passing of five seconds, which is after 10.13.13. And here you can see at 10.13.14, our bucket is refilled with four tokens and the request goes through. Now let's take another test case. Now in this case, you can see I've created a bucket of capacity four and we're adding four tokens every two seconds now. Let's check out the output now. Let's run the file now and just wait for the output. Amazing. So our file has run successfully and here you can see at 10, 15, 21, we have a bucket with four tokens and our request is passed. Again, the following three requests also passes. And when the tokens are zero, our request is not passed and we refill the bucket after every two seconds. So at 23rd second, our bucket should have been refilled. And here you can see at 10, 15, 24, we have all the new four tokens and we can make the following request. And again, at 10, 15, 24, when the tokens are zero, we cannot make the request and we can refill the bucket after 26 second and after that when we make the request at 27 second we have the four tokens so this was all about implementing token bucket rate limiting algorithm and i've put the code on github and you can find the link of the github repository down in the description below and if you like the video please share and subscribe i will be making more videos like this in the future see you in the next one thank you